A big ruling from the Supreme Court this week could affect the case of a Texas death row inmate. Back in 1998, Rodney Reed was convicted of raping and murdering Stacey Stites in Bastrop County. But the high court's new ruling will allow his attorneys to submit new DNA evidence. KVU's Ford Sanders and photojournalist Heike Mustanen spoke with Reed's attorneys and his brother about Wednesday's ruling and what that means for his case moving forward. Years and years of marching, chanting, and pleading for the exoneration of 55-year-old Rodney Reed. He was convicted of Stacey Stites' abduction, rape, and murder in 1998 and sentenced to death. Jane Putra with the Innocence Project is one of Reed's attorneys. She says now there's new hope in this decades-long case. Wednesday, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that Reed would be allowed to pursue post-conviction DNA testing of evidence, something he's been pushing for since the start, but still isn't a guarantee. It means that his case is now going to go back to the Fifth Circuit, where we will have further litigation, and hopefully it gets us one step closer to getting DNA testing one day. We've been asking that from day one. That's all we ever asked for is the testing of all evidence, calling of all witnesses in a fair trial. Here in the town of Bastrop lives Rodney's brother, Roderick. For decades, he's maintained his brother's innocence, even showing his support with different flags and signage on his own home. Well, with the recent ruling from the SCOTUS, he feels like this is going to be the next step to hopefully exonerate his brother. To this, to this day, we haven't had justice because there's evidence, there's testimony, there's medical forensic science out there that has proved his innocence. Roderick Reed says he knows his brother is innocent. He maintains that Rodney and Stacy had an affair and that her fiance is the one who killed her. I've seen him and Stacy together multiple times. They've been to my house. And so there's never been a doubt in my mind. But aside from being convicted in Stites' death, Rodney was also charged in four other sexual assault cases in the 80s and 90s. When people look at you and say that, that there's those other charges and other mm -hmm. cases, mm -hmm. What do you have to say to them when people say that, okay, maybe not in the Stacy trial, but there's four others? They're all false allegations. I believe they were uh, put out there to paint a picture of my brother so they could get the verdict they wanted, which was death. So they had to make him look ugly. And, th and that's the job that the uh, Bastrop County DA's office did on my brother to get the death sentence. While in Bastrop, we paid a visit to Bastrop County District Attorney Brian Gertz's office. Although he declined an on-camera interview Thursday, DA Gertz said he would send us a statement. As of airtime Friday, KVU had not received that statement. In years past, prosecutors have said the evidence is too degraded to test. Crime scene photos show the murder weapon, Stacy's belt, in a box with other evidence. But even if it was mishandled, Putra says it needs to be tested anyway. We've been really pleasantly surprised in some cases how much DNA remains many years later. And that's what's been so frustrating for Mr. Reed and his legal team is we just want to get to the truth and get to the testing. Should the DNA test come back? And, and, and I know it's not something you want to think about, but should that come back and it, it points towards your brother? What's the next steps for your family? Well, I don't see how it would, but we keep moving forward because, you know, DNA can be planted. And as long as they had it, and as long as they denied testing it, there's a reason. Reed's attorneys and family members say the Supreme Court's ruling also opens a path for others who have claimed to be wrongfully convicted. And after failed attempts before, they're still pushing for a new trial. He is entitled to have a fair trial by a jury of his peers where the state has to put forward evidence that it knows exists that supports his innocence. Roderick says he won't stop until he feels that justice is done. You know, we don't we don't want Rodney Reed free. We want Rodney Reed to be exonerated, to have his all that taken up off of him. In Bastrop, I'm Ford Sanders.